Now, thousands of Palestinians fled to southern Gaza in search of refuge after Israel warned them to evacuate before an expected ground offensive against Hamas in retaliation for the deadliest attack in Israel's history. Now, the Israeli army said that ground forces made localized raids into Gaza in the last 24 hours to cleanse the area of terrorists and weaponry and to try to find missing persons. Now, at least 1,900 Gazans, including over 600 children, have been killed in wave after wave of Israeli attacks on the densely populated populated Gaza enclave. Now, Israel also faces a separate confrontation on its northern front with the Lebanon-based Hezbollah group as well. The Israeli army said that its forces were responding with artillery fire towards Lebanese territory after a blast damaged the border barrier. Now, as violence escalates in the region, tensions spilled over to other nations in the Middle East and beyond, with protests erupting in major cities in support of Palestinians and condemnation of Israeli airstrikes on residential buildings, killing civilians. Thousands protested in Beirut, Iran, Ira Iraq, Jordan and Bahrain as well in support of Palestinians. A Reuters video journalist was killed in South Lebanon in an Israeli strike, while two other Reuters reporters, two from AFP and two from Al Jazeera, were injured in the crossfire. I have my colleague uh, Kadamani joining us live from Tel Aviv. Kadamani, take us to the ground situation at this point. Uh, there is, of course, an expected ground offensive as Gazans have been asked to vacate and they are, in fact, fleeing at this point. Uh, well, uh, they have been they had been asked to vacate within 24 hours, and uh, uh, they are vacating. Uh, what we are getting, the reports we are getting, is that they are fleeing in whatever they can get, even on foot. They are uh, fleeing uh, from north of Gaza, as has been demanded by IDF. Uh, meanwhile, uh, WHO, UN, everyone has asked for more time and uh, uh, asked, said that it is not right to demand uh, such a huge population to move in such a short time. But IDF is adamant on. Uh, this point it has said that uh, uh, those who cannot move their responsibility lays with Hamas uh, meanwhile uh, IDF has also come out with this information that they have been uh, uh, doing some raids in Gaza they have been trying to uh, find some evidence of hostages as well as uh, weaponry so this looks like a prelude to whatever is supposed to come next whether there's a ground assault which would be coming next so this is uh, uh, hap is happening at uh, the military front there's a huge buildup at southern borders as we we have shown our uh, viewers uh, consistently especially yesterday they, uh, what we saw was a complete uh, fortification of the entire southern border meanwhile we have also seen that there is an effort not to let this uh, conflict widen we have seen uh, US Secretary of State uh, uh, Antony Blinken meeting several Arab leaders here he met the King of Jordan he has been to Qatar now today he is also meeting uh, uh, his uh, the leaders in Saudi Arabia. So these are the efforts which are on, but that does not uh, actually mean that there would be no ground assault. That is bound to happen. That is set to happen because uh, uh, there is no uh, sign of uh, Hamas uh, uh, releasing the hostages. There are uh, they also gave a statement saying that uh, in Israeli airstrikes, 13 hostages have been killed. So uh, these are the developments which uh, uh, are happening at the political front as well as uh, uh, at the diplomatic front as well as the military front at the moment here in uh, Israel-Gaza conflict. Right, uh, Kadamani, now Israel is facing a multi-pronged attack. Uh, take us through what they are doing to respond to the Hezbollah front. Well, uh, at the northern front, if you remember, the moment uh, uh, the uh, conflict with Hamas started on Saturday, Hezbollah started uh, uh, have, uh, uh, firing from their side, from Lebanon side, and there was a part of IDF which was rushed to northern side as well. There are forces there, but uh, they were reinforced. Now we have seen that Hezbollah has uh, uh, actually upped their attack from that side because uh, it looks like they also want to divert the attention uh, of IDF, uh, divert some forces from what is happening on the southern uh, borders of Israel. They have also uh, full support of uh, Hamas and Ham uh, they support Hamas. So this is looking like uh, a two project attack on Israel. Uh, moreover, from the Syrian side, we have seen how uh, Israeli air uh, strikes, though it was not accepted, they have uh, 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 struck two airports, uh, Aleppo and Damascus, in an effort so that they 
there is no uh, uh, supply of aid uh, from uh, Syria to Hamas. So that is an effort from all sides. This, this is the three border uh, uh, kind of thing happening here. Uh, Israel is steadfast that it will handle all three or all, all two uh, borders which are open. Now there is also support of allies. We have uh, uh, the US uh, Navy fleet which is standing by in, uh, in, in the seas uh, around here in the Mediterranean. There is UK fleet which is coming in. There might be another fleet of uh, uh, US uh, naval ships. So the preparation is uh, all there. The fight is still there. But on ground the Israeli soldiers are those who are actually uh, uh, facing the battle here in, uh, in the battlefield.